I will assume you've read the passage. The author uses the phrase and possibly impressionable in paragraph two, most likely to emphasize the idea that what? When you get a, uh, a line citation or a, uh, a vocabulary citation like this, you need to go back and read the sentence that that occurs in. Impressionable people, that's down here. Adults have called into question the value of the youth voice by claiming that adult politicians are using young and possibly impressionable people to further a political agenda. So the author is using it to show that uh, the youth are being used to further someone else's ideas. So is that A, young people are inherently unsuited as leaders of political movements. That's not it because they were actually leaders in uh, paragraph one. Uh, young people will likely separate from their adult counterparts in the future. We have no, that has nothing to do with being impressionable. Uh, C, an adult's impression of a youth activist will determine whether or not the two work well together. Well, that's probably true, but this is just echoing the vocabulary. Impressionable does not mean the adult's impression of the youth activist. It means the youth activist's impression of the adult activist. Um, so it's actually the reverse. These check marks mean it's not it. I should use X's. Uh, D, youth and, adult, youth and adult activists are too different to have a successful working relationship. That can't be what the author is saying because uh, most of the passage has the two cooperating. So that leaves us with choice E, which it must be, but adults may, have, may be able to take advantage of young people whose political ideas have not yet solidified. That's what it means to be impressionable, taking someone else's stronger opinions as your own, and so choice E is our answer.